Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with some ZZ. <laughs> couple of things. What do we got? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are electric guitar strings, nickel wound, and I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. So, this song is an A, but where is an A? G, G sharp, A. And it's a bar chord, two, 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 and you're just going to put your finger all the way across. But the trick is, you're only worried about these two strings. Because you're going to be playing these two strings predominantly through this little thing. Okay? So, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. D is way up here. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. So, the chords you need are A and D. Now, you can play a D up here on the 7th fret bar, but I like this little D here. 2, 0, 2. And I don't even worry about playing that note, because I'm just playing these two strings. So, these two strings right here. I'm coming down and I'm gonna pull up. And all of my focus is on the up. That's why this is important. Lots of ZZ top on the three string cigar box guitar is focused on these two strings. This other one, we're not using as much. If you hit it, then you hit it. And when I pull up, I am just aiming to hit this string and this string and not, I don't want to come all the way through. I just want, I just want those two. I'm searching for. Now, you can certainly come up here, but you're still going to be pulling. That's that seventh fret. And if you notice, I'm just playing two strings. I'm avoiding that low bass string entirely. this type of up rhythm you're going to come down a little bit and come up but when you come down you're not coming down through all the strings you're just coming down in the middle It's a little bit of technique you have to learn to just be able to perform like that. Now, if you go all the way, then you have to do the whole chord.
So the blues got a hold on me. I believe I'm getting dizzy part is open G. And F. And F right here looks like five, three, five. Or five, three, five. You could certainly play it this way. But remember something, if this is an F, that's an F sharp and that's a G. So you could legitimately... This is 99% of this song. So in the jam, what they do is they go back to a straight ahead 1-4-5. What do I mean by that? That means A, that means D, and that means E. Or A, D, E. Remember, you, you had an F here. E is just one fret below it. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. So in the jam section, they'll do... Uh, play it so Billy Gibbons likes to do a lot of this stuff in here and then go to back out of it and be straight ahead blues then go back into his little little sick riff you know now if you want to jam on this thing the notes he sits with his hand in this position okay this is a blues box these are the notes you're looking for. Okay? That D, bent. So, bent. C, A, and G. So, in the song, you'll hear a... And that's where that exists. And these are a lot of techniques that he uses that are w very advanced. So I want you to know that it's not easy to get these pinch harmonics all the time. It's taken me years and years and years and years to do it. You can do it too. And there's many videos available to look at that kind of thing. But don't worry about it. This song is a rhythm jam song. And all you need... <laughs> It's a jam song for that, and that's what I would stick with, and I think you'll have a much easier time with it. Please see my companion video, because I'll, I go all over the place with this song, and it shows you, the one, the versatility of the three-string cigar box guitar, and two, what you can do playing around with this. But seriously, if all you're doing is... <laughs> totally cool but that's how I do it and you could certainly down you could certainly go down 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 but I would suggest start using these two strings only and avoiding this guy and you're gonna have a better time of it sound wise it's gonna sound more like ZZ top than it is a three string cigar box guitar so there you have that thank you so much for everything you do We've got t-shirts. Yeah, freak shirt. Yeah. I've got a song book out. Um, definitely look at that. Plus, on my website, 
on my website right here, I have some companion videos that work with the songbook. So definitely take a look at that. I've got a whole bunch of links in this uh, show notes here. So definitely take a look at all of that. So the website, I've got, you know, companion videos to go with it. I've got all kinds of things on this website. So please take a tour of it. Uh, YouTube is not treating me kindly as of late. And so I'm putting some things on my website that are not on YouTube here. So both places are where you're going to find a lot of content that I am putting out. And so, uh, Thank you so much for everything you do. We're a 100% donation channel. No matter what YouTube calls it, we're still a 100% donation channel. PayPal and Square links are below. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. And uh, so I wanted to show you my settings here. And so these are the settings in my cube. So I am on that Brit combo. You can see amp type. I got a little bit of reverb. My tone is straight up and my gain is, is just a little off straight up. So it's a little hotter than uh, 12 o'clock. So that gives you an idea of the tone I'm getting. And uh, so it really, really works well for three string. This is a great... <laughs> Great tone out of these little cubes, these little rolling cubes. They're really, really nice. So uh, if you go to my Amazon page, you can definitely see some of the things that I recommend. I actually own them or have used them in the past and then sold them because I move on here and there. So uh, definitely take a look at that, my Amazon page and uh, my website and all of these things. Thank you so much for everything you do. We'll see you again soon.